things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... She's pretty coherent for not existing. I've made up my mind. Snake. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Oh. So I'm looking at the files. She's not there. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh. So right away. I really want to slap her back in and see what happens. But, at the same point... <sighs> do I do that now? I want to see what happens. I'm going to paste it back in. Nothing. Okay, it's not looking for that right now, then. New game. Oh, nice school day. It's Sayori, and she's happy, and not fucked up. Oh, we can't fast forward. Let's skip through this. We're going to school. Have we decided on a club to join? This might be new. She wants... Oh, we have already decided on a club. And I th Okay, so uh, I think I'll keep start reading here. I say, I think I'll keep it as a surprise. She says, boo. You meanie. I say, be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. Yep, we've said that. I'm gonna do something special for her. School day is over as, is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see, I say. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. I find the door and open it. Hello, I say. Oh, Sayori's here. Snake. What are you doing here? I say, well, I just... I glance around the room. There's Natsuki. She says, so you're the sn <laughs> You're the snake that... That read really weird. So you're the snake that Sayori's always talking about. Yuri says, thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Snake. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Natsuki says, come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Yeah, I'll, uh... He who walks. I'm gonna try that again later. But I want to see where this goes. This might actually prompt me at some point. Yuri says, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri. Seems to be quite shy. I say it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. So he always says, working? Snake, don't tell me. You're... I say, that's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. She says, no way. No way. She screams. She wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, I say. 
Natsuki laughs. Well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Yuri says, not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can uh, we can become an officially recognized club. Sorry, he says, I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Yuri says, what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, says Sayori. After all, Natsuki decided to. Natsuki says, hey, don't ruin the surprise. But we know it's cupcakes. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? Yuri says, how about I make some tea? The girls have arranged desks to make a table. They go to the closet. We sit next to Sayori. Natsuki says, okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Many cupcakes decorated like cats. Just the same as before. Sayori grabs the first one. Oh, we should be looking at the background. Just in case. Sorry, he grabs one first, then I follow. Sayori cannot eat cupcakes properly without getting them all over herself. That's I can't help but notice Natsuki sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yep. To this. Yuri's doing teacup stuff. Teaches her permission. This is exactly the same as it was before. I'd say I like manga. Natsuki's like, whoa. Yep, she wants complex shit. Oh, they're actually talking about Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. But she feels embarrassed about it. No, I feel like we... This is kind of a mix. Natsuki says, So, if Snake wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Here says Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Snake? Sorry says, Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. We'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Yuri says, I don't disagree or anything. Natsuki says, yeah. You're right as usual, President. Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? I say, well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Natsuki says, then as for Yuri. Yuri says, eh? I, I have to read manga. Natsuki says, geez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Yuri says, hurtful? I didn't realize. With the guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Natsuki says, are you just saying that? Yuri says, no. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Natsuki says, really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Yuri says, same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Natsuki says, just, just you? Yuri asks, would you like to come along with me? Natsuki says, if you don't mind. Yuri says, not at all. I always go alone, so... Natsuki says, yeah, me too. Sayori says, this is so cute. And I say, shut up, Say Sayori. Why did I tell her that? That's weird. Natsuki says, I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yuri says, yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Sayori just laughs. I guess the meeting's over, huh? I say, yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it, she says. I think everyone likes you too, Snake. You think so, I ask. Well, everyone always seems to be getting... Everyone always seems to be get along a little better with you around, Sayori. She says, aw, Snake. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. I say, well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. She says, we're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Snake. I really want to thank you. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. She laughs. 
It's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Snake. She laughs. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No, says the prompt. Eh? She says. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. I'm sorry, I was wrong, says the prompt. There is there's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Snake. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh, yeah, Sayori's freaking out. piano and stuff and I'm not really any good at it yet like at all but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really really hard on it so yeah <laughs> did he Elsie special day Well this is a really happy end Whoa, what's that one about? Special thanks, Monica and Snake.
This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is, a tr is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. Reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you. For making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. Most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. <laughs> oh, and then it just uh, stops being... So, let's hit play again. And hopefully, it'll pop right back up on stream. If we give it a second. Yep, I think we're stuck here. Yeah, it's still... Oh, this time it did a hard crash when I clicked OK. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm curious. I doubt this will do anything. But if I move Monica back into the character area and then hit start. Nope. Nothing. Nothing's going on. It's the same, same thing. Well... That that was uh, that was a lot happier of an ending, kind of. The music was really happy. It said it was made with love. So yeah, let's take a look. Just delete first run in the files and restart the game. Well, let me delete Natsu, uh, Monica out of here. Because I don't want that to fuck anything up. And let's see, I have to delete first run, huh? Let's see if I can find that. Saves, no. Singleton. Hmm. Where would that be? I guess I can do a search for it. First run. Where was this? This one. Oh, this was under game. That's pretty fucking obvious, huh? It's only one kilobyte. That's odd. It just has the number one in it. That's all it has. All right, well, we're going to move that out to the desktop. Now let's try starting the game up again. Music isn't all that happened in context with the lyrics. Hmm. Not sure what you mean by that. Previous save file has been found. Would you like to delete your save file and start over? No, continue where I left off. Ah. I see. Let's delete that, and it will say yes. Here we go again. so happy so that's definitely the first run through I'm curious this also seems really loud all of a sudden oh because all the settings are different no I'm crazy okay so far up there okay I am very curious about the other routes so not sure if we can speed through to those sections or not. 
I want to at least try Natsuki. We should also... But does Sayori live longer? Does someone else kill themselves instead? Do you actually make it to the festival if you go with Sayori? Many, many questions. I think there's still a lot of content. So I'm going to take a quick, like, two-minute break. And then we'll be back with some more. Do all four runs. Frosty. There are four runs. That's interesting. Uh, I think I wasn't paying too much attention to the song. It just sounded so happy. Okay. We will continue to be Snake. Yep. All right. So we go to settings. We should be able to skip right to the first poem. It's amazing how much fucking dialogue there is when you skip through like this. Okay, we're gonna save right here. So I'm curious. Nope. They change. They're always different. You can't even... You can't even rig it. Is there a way to get... If I could... Get Monica. Is there anything here that might... Like, maybe something evil? Wait, are all the sad ones? No. Are all the bad ones for... Uh, Sayori? Yeah, they are. All the really sad ones are for her. He who walks... Monica at one point was jumping from beneath the screen. So I'm not sure... I feel like maybe there'd be a split in the route at that point in the game. Or that was just a one and done. I don't know. But Monica was definitely hopping up from the bottom. And I just don't know what I was clicking. Hey, Zavrin. We beat it just now, actually. We were at the Monica room. And I'm just trying to see if there's any... Maybe Monica only jumps up after a certain point. Hmm. 
Silly went for her. Dark went for her. Doki Doki went for Natsuki. Death. So let's see. I don't know who... Oh, let's see. I think we accidentally went with Sayori. Let's go back. I don't... I don't think there's a way to get... Sure, he who walks, because there's no way I'm going to do that myself. Like, that's too much to have to try and figure it out. Unless it's all musical or something. If I could get her to pop up even once. Oh, Natsuki. Oh yeah, I get it for her. Hers is pretty easy. I meant for Monica. Is is Monica just a uh, a one-time poem event? Or is there actually something I can do? If that's for like the final route, then I'll pass. It's 10%. Don't know, don't know what that means. Anyone has a 10%. Oh, any word. Okay. So that's just weird then. So it has, it's in Act 3. Gotcha. Okay. So let's uh, get back on track. We're drawn for Natsuki. So simple words. Oh no, sorry. You already told me the answer. Animals and cute things in clothing. Animals, cute things in clothing. Giggle. No, not candy. Cute enough. Fun. No. Treasure. No. You're doing pretty poorly here. Nibble. There we go. Puppy. Color. Damn it. Mouse. Flower. D Flowers are simple. I'm actually gonna try over. I think we got too many for. Sayori. Bunny. Twirl. Joy. Damn it. Pure happiness seems to go for Sayori. Jump. Giggle. For sure. Lollipop. A skipping. Bouncy. Fantasy. Fantasy's not Yuri. It is her. It's for Natsuki. Okay. Dance. Nope. Sugar. Fun. No, fun wasn't. That's right. Hair. Play. Nope, not play. Ribbon. Yeah. Doki Doki was not Suki. Feather? Nope. There we go. There's a simple one. And I don't ever think this last one matters. It's not flower. It's not sweet. Vanilla? Vanilla. Okay. Let's save. So let's see. Gotta wait for us to see Natsuki. the regular stuff so far. The stuff we've seen at least three times now. I mean, I guess two of those times Sayori was dead. Yuri brought us something today. A 
I guess this still happens. I say thank you. I take the book. Okay, I think this is when that starts to happen. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheer conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. So this should be... Okay. Oh, this is Natsuki. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. 